Hello everybody, welcome to the first annual Derpy Craft Fair. I am Daniel Keating, and behind the camera we have Nathan as my wonderful cameraman. And we're gonna go check out the Derpy Craft Fair, so let's go! rebellion in fashion as it relates to expressing gender, freeness, and like willingness to be whoever you want to be, and that was what it was all about, ultimately. So right now we are joined with the coordinator of 21st Century. Now, um, what do you guys like normally do on like a day-to-day -day basis in 21st Century? Sure. Well, 21st Century is an after-school program. It's an enrichment program where students come to different activities that they're interested in. We have things like uh, here tonight we have culinary arts being represented, construction, sea perch, fashion design, uh, some of the musical components, Dawn with Mr. Jayzak. So... Um, so it kind of started off as a couple different things. So we, uh, we're a new 21st century after school program club called Dawn, which is Durfee Arts Workshop Network. Um, and the idea of it was to get different kids who are into arts together and teach them how to work together. Um, and our culminating thing, obviously, at the end of the year was to put on an event and teach them event management. Um, so that's what this is really is. And our, one of our big inspirations for why we want to do it is we know the city feels a certain way about the students and the culture here. And it's... That feeling is about such a small amount of the students, it's not even a handful, because um, we have students here every day doing amazing things, and we're kind of putting our money where our mouth is, and we want to say, hey, come on out and see what we do. Uh, we plan on doing this every year. I mean, I think everything has its own special niche, but at the end of the day, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised that we have like, the robotics and engineering, or the construction at the level we do, or the culinary at the level we do, uh, and to see these kids, you know, a lot of the art that we have them putting up isn't even the stuff they necessarily do in class, it's what they create. It's not you know it's, it's just the culture it's here um, so I think a lot of people are surprised that we got a lot more going on here with them than what they realize. I've been looking for a girl I've been looking looking for a girl I've been looking for a girl here we're hosting an open mic so if no one's been to an open mic you come in it's open sign ups um, put your name down when it's your turn you're called up and you can read off anything you prepared that you found like online someone else's work you get like Maybe about three to five minutes, and it's your time to do whatever you want. Let go. If you notice, we have some of our people here who thought it was such a great event that they brought some culinary people out. We have the construction craft laborer. We have the engineering people. So just to show people what. Um, what we're involved in, what kind of hands-on activities that we can contribute to something like this. So, here at Derford we have construction craft laborer. So what I show my students is how to do brick and block and mortar. So, we show them how to stagger the bricks, how to place the mortar, how to be pretty much a bricklayer. Basics of it. I'm not an expert at it, but they'll have, have the basic understanding of what to do. Right now we are here with Mr. Coogan. Uh, Mr. Coogan, how do you feel about being here tonight and what are you most um, excited to see here? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see everything. I love looking at the pottery stuff and uh, listening to the singers and the bands. It's great seeing the food. It's a great night, great night. I'm just here to support the wonderful Derby community and all of the students and the things that they've kind of created. And I think that that's just great that they get to display it in this way. I'm so proud of like my peers for setting this up and I can't wait for like all the shows and people I'm gonna see perform. How does it? How do you have to like go, like prepare for this type of event here? Like, what do you guys like? What's the steps that you guys go through? All right. So first, we put a menu together, and uh, I had the students, my three students that are with me, we kind of got together and figured out what we want to prepare. And once we got our menu down, we kind of got all the ingredients together, and through this afternoon into now, we kind of prepped everything, made sure we got the checklists down that we made, made sure everything was there, 
and the three boys I have with me, Bradley, Damien, and Jaya, they pre prepped everything here, and it looks great, and I'm super proud of them. Awesome. Well, it, is a, it is a big process, but they got it done. What have you prepared here tonight? Well, in this station, we have our fried dough. We just took dough into our fryer, and then we coat it either brown sugar or white sugar, whichever you like more. Then we have our chicken Mozambique, which is over white rice, and then grilled flatbread pizzas, which we keep warm and then cut up for anybody to have a sample of as they choose. How did you guys prepare for tonight's event? Uh, we just go in the practice room twice a week and we prepare what we're going to do, and now we're going to just play what we've been preparing. So we were like, the guy told us like two days ago that we needed 45 minutes worth of stuff, and we went in that night and we were like, this is what we got, and now we're going to do it. technical skill developed classes. If you think about it, we've got robotics going on here tonight. We've got, we've got Chicken Mozambique out there because it's culinary arts. We've got visual arts. We've got performing arts. We've got some punk rock going on on stage tonight. We have teachers up there tonight with students performing. This is a synthesis of things made by hand at Durfee High School, Durfee Craft. It's a concept that Mr. Jayzak developed and I think it's, it's a first in many to come.